Draw a triangle, equilateral triangle, that all sides are equal to 2. In this triangle, the perimeter is what 6? 2 plus 2 plus 2. Now, in next step, draw inscribed circle of this triangle. Now, we can say by symmetry, each of these lengths equal to 1. So, we have 6 ones. Then, in next step, try to draw a parallelogram like this. Each part connect point on circle. It is parallel to this part. It is parallel to this part. So, we can say the perimeter of new figure is again 6. You can say white figure. In next step, we do the same things. We remove the corners again and similarly we can say the perimeter of the white figure is again 6. Now we can say if we keep removing these corners and for infinite times this white path or we can say this white figure will be approach to the yellow shape to circle circles perimeter is what 2 pi r which r is radius of yellow circle now we conclude what because the white figure approaches the yellow figure we can say 2 pi r the perimeter equal to 6 6 is perimeter of white shape 2 pi r is perimeter of yellow circle so we conclude 2 pi r equal to 6 now i want to find pi so i should find r now we focus on finding r so let's see r is what consider again the triangle equilateral triangle that all sides are 2 and inscribed circle so if we connect from the center of inscribed circle to all vertices and then draw perpendicular to all three sides we can say what it is r it is r it is r now we want to find the area of the triangle equilateral triangle triangles area equal to we have three parts in this triangle each of them the height is r the base is two so you say r times two over two plus r times two over two and the last one this part r times 2 over 2 then it equals 2 and 2 will be cancelled r plus r plus r which equal to 3r so triangles area is 3r now we will find triangles area with another way then we can find r in next step we draw again this equilateral triangle with sides 2 we draw height we know if we call this h because it is equilateral triangle it is 1 1 height is also median of this triangle then we can say what triangles area is h times base 2 over 2 and we find h by pythagorean theorem we can say h squared plus 1 squared equal to 2 squared so we can say h squared equal to 2 squared minus 1 squared if we subtract 1 squared from both sides 2 squared is 4 minus 1 squared is 1 4 minus 1 equal to 3 so h squared equal to 3 then we can conclude h equal to root 3 square root of 3 so we can say triangles area h we replace h with root 3 it will be root 3 times 2 over 2 2 and 2 will be cancelled and it will be root 3 from previous part we proved triangles area is 3 r which r is radius of inscribed circle or we call it in radius so by considering these two equalities, we can conclude 3r equal to root 3. So if we divide both sides by 3, we can conclude r equal to root 3 over 3. Now in the rest of the video, we want to find, we want to use r. We wanted to find r, now we have r. So here in this figure, we said triangle's perimeter is 6, the white figure each time was the perimeter was 6, circle's perimeter was 2 pi r, so 2 pi r we said is 6, and we proved and reached r equal to root 3 over 3, if we replace this r here 
we conclude 2 pi times root 3 over 3 equal to 6. If we simplify this term, you can divide both sides by 2, it will be 3. And root 3 over 3, you can say it is 1 over root 3. And if you multiply by root 3, then pi equal to 3 times square root of 3. You can also simplify it by yourself. So we've proved what? Pi equal to 3 times square root of 3. But we know pi is not this. It is greater than 4. Also, you can see that it is greater than 5. So, what's going wrong here? So, let's see. Let's consider a similar example. That is what we call this example. A stir case paradox. So, let's see. It is what? Consider we have a right angled triangle. The sides are 2, 2. Then, we connect the midpoints like this. It will be 1, 1, 1, 1. And then we do the same things, half, 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 all of them are like this. Now, we can say what? Let's consider now the perimeter, the path length of the yellow figure. It is what? 2 plus 2, which equal to 4. In next step, it will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which equal to 4 again. And if we do exactly this, if we keep removing the corners, in next step we have one half, one half, one half, how many one half? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight one halves. And it will be four again. So we will see always, if we go out to infinity, the perimeter of yellow path is always four. But if you consider the area, I want to say this path approaches to yet white path. How? I want to say the area of this figure between them, the area between them, uh, approach to zero. When, for example, the number of steps goes to infinity. So let's see why. At first, the area of this figure is 2 times 2 over 2 equal to 2 in zero step. In next step, n equal to 1. We say what each of them uh, is right angle triangle isosceles. 1 times 1 over 2, 1 times 1 over 2. So 2 times 1, 2 triangles. Each area is 1 times 1 over 2, which equal to 1. Now, in next step, when n equals 2, we can say we have 4 triangles, isosceles, right angle triangles. Each of them, the area of them equal 1 half times 1 half over 2. So if you simplify 4 and these 2, 2 will be cancelled, we have 1 half. So in each step, the area will be half of the previous area. We can conclude what? In nth case, for general n, it will be 2 to the power of n and it's easy to prove. Like here, 2 to the power of 2 here, 2 to the power of n, and each of them will be 1 over 2 to the power of n minus 1 times 1 over 2 to the power of n minus 1 over 2 and if you simplify this and this and this will be cancelled 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 will be left then we can conclude if we take a limit and when n approaches to infinity we can conclude the area for n step when n approaches infinity equal to 0 because the numerator denominator will be increased and it goes to 0 so What's the problem here? We can say it is what in each step we conclude that the yellow shape approaches to white. X is what we've proved X is 4 because the yellow path always is 4 and it approaches white path. So we conclude by previous um, by previous part that X equal to 4. Now, by Pythagorean theorem, we can say x squared equal to 2 squared plus 2 squared. So x squared equal to 4 plus 4 equal to 8. So x equal to square root of 8, which equal to 2 root 2. So we can conclude x from previous part equal to 4. From this part, x equal to 2 root 2. So 4 equal to 2 root 2. It is famous paradox. We call it staircase paradox. It is what? When a path like this, yellow path, approaches 
to white paths, it doesn't mean that the lengths of them also approach each other. And it is a famous paradox. We consider this paradox with other cases. There are around 50 important formulas in geometry, like for example, AI times AIA equal to BC, R equal to area over semimeter, all these things. If you know them, it will be useful from base level up to IMO, from qualifying level round one in any exam of math. And also we have similar ideas in combinatorics, geometry we said, number theory, and algebra. If you want to know them, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description. And don't forget to subscribe if you've learned something new. And turn on notification and like the video.